You're listening to The Mentality Show, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Hey, what's happening? This is your boys, all you mentalians out there. Welcome back for episode 29 of The Mentality Show. Let's give ourselves a hand. Ooh. Ooh. Right, baby. We are back. We are back feeling good. Everybody's alive. Everybody made it another week. God bless. We are happy to be here, okay? Let me do this before we start anything. Let me throw the phone number out there. Get a pen, get a paper. Write this down. Put it in your cell phone. Remember this because you're going to be calling this number all the time, especially today with our topic today. Great stuff. The number is 818-570-5085. That's 818-570-5085. And okay, so let me tell you a little bit about what we're going to be talking about today. This is what we call a subject teaser. <clears throat> if you're young and you want to keep looking that way, or if you're older and you don't want to die <laughs> anytime soon, then this is the show you want to listen up to, okay? Listen good today. We're going to talk about the importance of exercise and nutrition in your 30s and especially your 40s. Oh, yeah. 50s and 60s, <laughs> you definitely need to hear what we have to talk about today. <laughs> so <clears throat> let me introduce everyone. I'm your host, Delano, a.k.a. Your host, Delanus. a.k.a. the handsome one, a.k.a. Delanus. Just all the, the, just the shit. Okay. And we got my man <laughs> to my right here, a.k.a. HIV. I mean, a.k.a. Vato V in the house. What's happening? Doing his thing. <laughs> How you feel, V? Feel good, baby. Feel good? Simon. Uh, Simon? Nice Whatever friend. that means. Okay. <laughs> all right. Is, he say, is he saying semen? Is he <laughs> Some. No, no, Simon. Simon. Schmigma. <laughs> Schmigma. If you don't know what it means, look, look it up. Girl. I'm not going to explain. Okay. <laughs> I got my man, What's Sexy Texie in the right house, there, a.k.a. Right Sexy right. Texie. Dodgers all, all right. the way, baby. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Right. One yeah. today. Shout out, guys. <clears throat> just, we just found out they won. Yes, sir. We have a lot of Dodgers fans here uh, in this building, actually. Here, yeah, A lot yeah. of people love the Dodgers. It's just a great year for L.A. We got the Dodgers. We got the Lakers, LeBron. Rams oh, might go man. to the Super Bowl this year. Chargers kicking butt this year. Yep. This, is a, this is a good year for L.A. Good man. energy. Good energy. Good energy. Get it. And speaking of that, I got my man to my left here, LaShawn of the Dawn in right, the man. house. That's right. Yes, sir. Flex. <laughs> take the shirt off. Take, your <laughs> <WWE>. <laughs> take the shirt off. Don't take the shirt off. <laughs> Ho Hogan and beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> my man did a stand up show a couple of weeks ago, took his shirt off, had all the la- legs. <laughs> I couldn't even hear his jokes, man. Had the ladies going crazy, man. So, no, it's, it's, this is no, the man right mental, here. Man. Good to be here, man. Mentalian. Swole. Stay tuned, man. You got some healthy tips coming from my man Shane Hubbard. That's right. Sports nutritionist. Listen up. See, that's right. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and go into that. So I got my man. Let's please welcome to the show. He is our sports nutrition guy. We're going to have him on this show every once in a while to talk about the yeah, importance yeah. of taking care of yourself, diet, and exercise. He's here to do all that today. We have a, a plethora of questions for him. Please welcome to the show our man, Mr. Shane Hubbard. Yes, yes. Sir. Hubbard. yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me tell you a little bit about Shane. He's been in the sports industry for 12 years. He's a certified post personal trainer through the National Academy of Sports Medicine, okay? He's not just some dude who walked off the street saying, look, I'm a personal trainer. You know, he eats neck bones and cornbread <laughs> and shit. You know, okay. He's a real trainer right here. Certified nutrition through Precision Nutrition. Uh, he's also a level one holistic lifestyle coach. He has his own business called Persistent Nutrition. Mr. Shane Hubbard, so good to have you here today. Awesome. Yeah, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks yes. for having me. Yes, it's thank you. Tell us a little bit about your business. So uh, I actually started Persistent Nutrition uh, just as a hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of buddies. I moved to Bakersfield. Uh, I used to live in L.A. Mm -hmm. And I moved to Bakersfield, and they're like, hey, man, as soon as you get certified, uh, you move. So what's the deal? So I said, okay, mm -hmm. I'll you know kind of practice some of my, my programming on, on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had to figure out how to get them programs. Right. So I found an online uh, uh, software that helped me deliver programs to, to my friends. Right. And one thing kind of led to another, and uh, I started making more content on Instagram, mm -hmm. started really kind of developing my, my name out there. And so yeah. I decided to give myself kind of a catchy, you know, health yeah. name. It used to just be the bad vegetarian, and that was kind of catchy. Yeah. Uh, but I needed something that kind of established me as a little bit more of a, as a serious uh, content creator. Right. So uh, one thing led to another, and it's, you know, it's, it's still technically a hobby. I'm mm -hmm. not, you know, making a, it's not a huge business right yeah. now, but it's, it's getting there, and it's, yeah. it's getting a lot better. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's why I started it really just as a hobby. Yeah. I, I didn't even do it because of anything, you know, uh, other than that. And you have a passion for it. Yeah, and, know, and, and, and that was the other thing. I just really wanted to create a lot more content. And, right. this gave, and you know, social networks give you so much more oh, opportunity right. to do that. Big time. Uh -huh. 
And yeah. so uh, I was like, okay, you know, where do I start? And yeah. so I just learned, learned a lot more and went from there. Yeah. Nice. And yeah. you are completely certified, man, with all the, uh, you know, with uh, um, being a holistic coach and through Precision Nutrition, the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Uh, I mean, that's more credits than pretty much all of us here at this table. Put, I put mean, together. You are accomplished. <laughs> put together. Yeah, you are accomplished. So uh, my main question here, we have, a, like I said, we have a bunch of questions for you here. But sure. the first question that comes to my mind is when someone's looking for a personal trainer, uh, what should a person look for in their search? What's what's I mean, there's plenty of people out there who claim to be personal trainers. Sure. What's the number one thing I should look for in uh, a legitimate certified personal trainer? Well, it, you might actually be surprised. You you want someone who's patient and doesn't just give you a bunch of resources and say, figure it out. Because mm -hmm. when I first started as a, as a trainer, and I won't mention the gym, but when I first started as a trainer, a lot of the resources they gave us said, just give this to your clients and right. you know, kind of talk to them a little bit about it. But because a lot of trainers aren't certified in nutrition as well, they just had to kind of create a resource. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking for a trainer, what you really want to, the vibe you want to get from them is one, they actually really, really care about you. To the right. point where they're almost willing to do it for free. I mean, obviously they have to eat, right. you know, but right. you want somebody who cares about what you're doing and, and that shows you more value than you're actually paying for. I if you can that. provide more value than, <clears throat> than what the people are paying for, they're going to feel that. Right. And when they feel that, they're, it's just, it's, no words can really describe so that. So you have to be able to really trust this person that yeah. uh, they, they care about your Absolutely. well-being and what they're doing. I can definitely see that. Yeah. And that's, that's about establishing rapport, maybe having uh, spend, spending a little time more than maybe a few minutes talking to this person. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and sometimes you, it's like dating. Sometimes you just know when you meet someone. You yeah. Know? So Google, you get Google eyes. I got, a, I got a homie <laughs> that's a personal trainer, and uh, I won't even put his name out there because uh, no free promo in this month. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, seriously, he, he does show me pictures of uh, improvements, and it's mostly females. I mean, that's his motivation, I guess. But, <laughs> of course. Of course. he'll show, like, the before and after, and they're working on butt mainly, and then it's like he really likes his passion, you know, like yeah. making females' butts get bigger, I guess. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a real thing. He, that's <laughs> what he wants yeah. to do. It. So, yeah. I mean, Thank you. just you can see his passion, like, hey, man, check this girl out. I'm gonna, you know, yeah. showing improvement and whatnot. So, sure. All you personal trainers out there making – Females' butts look better. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Shout out. Shout thank out. You. Yes. Shout <laughs> out. Definitely. Good, great job. I so when you're with your woman, you're just like, hey, hey babe, you, you think those yoga pants are too tight or what? <laughs> are they too tight? <laughs> <laughs> you you got to look. Everybody's going to look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Are they exactly. too tight? Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> we're good That's a go. good thing. We're good. So we're let's good. give shouts out. We got to also talk about, we're going to get more into that throughout the show. <laughs> Uh, we also, we, we can't start the show without talking about our sponsor, L.A. Aerial Image. That's right. They're Shout responsible out. for all the production on the show, all the videos, all the Streetwalker segments that you see. L.A. Aerial Image, those are the guys. Check them out. Go to their IG under L.A. Aerial, LA Aerial Image. L.A. Aerial Image. Uh, uh, Instagram. Instagram. There you go. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram. YouTube. It's it, it's it's the only one of its kind out there. Actually, in Los check Angeles, if you so. check out the mentality shows YouTube, you'll see all the different skits that we've done and you know. So there. That's all street walkers. Aerial stuff. I think I just said that no, in the beginning. So. You didn't say to go to YouTube though, sir. Oh, okay. Well, YouTube. All right, go to YouTube and check out what I said <laughs> earlier. Okay. So all right, before we get started here, you, as you know, we like to cover everything in this show, everything that's going on in the world, everything that's going on out there. So we cover we cover everything from Donald Trump winning his case over Stormy. <laughs> to which one of us on this panel gets the most horny? <laughs> we talk about that on the show. That motherfucker. I might take. I might take that. <laughs> right there. I don't care. I'll take it. I'll take it. Horny. Just rub them and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so from our from current events that make us smile and current events that bring us tears, to why does it look like Tech C has not gone to the gym? In many, many years. <laughs> <laughs> Shane's going to talk about that. Talk about that too. <laughs> Perfect, oh, man. From our Los Angeles Dodgers doing their thing. Yes, right. sir. To why Vato V is always sexting. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Hey, hey you just hey. said it at the beginning hey. of the show. I cannot confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, we man. cover everything on the mentality show, man. Everything from Kanye West. Bromance with Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go again. <laughs> it again. We cover everything on the Mentality Show That's from right. Kanye West bromance with Donald Trump to why the fuck is Tex C always got to take a dump? <laughs> Chicken wings, uh, man. It's my turn to get, get chomped right. on today, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
Much love, baby. Don't <laughs> fuck up the rhyme, LaShawn. Just don't, don't fuck it up. Yeah. Oh, man. What else did we cover, Shane? <laughs> no, that was, that's pretty good. I'm going to leave you guys to it. Shane's like, what the fuck? Yeah. On the spot <laughs> rhyming. Not my specialty. That's what she looked like a deer cut in. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, man. man we won't be mad. We fucked up plenty of rhymes, man. We won't Sorry, be mad. Shane, I'm going to do that to all our uh, guests from now on. All right. So. Perfect. All right, so as you know, we cover all those things. We talk about what's going on in the world, and this is our current event. Sometimes we hit current events. And we thought this current event was very fitting for our show today and our fitting. special guest. Uh, exactly. Uh, you <laughs> do know. your rhyme that you were going to do, though. That was funny, man. Huh. The other rhyme that you were going to do about my rhymes. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, from Donald Trump winning his case against Stormy. Stormy. To while LaShonda Dunn's rhymes are always so fucking corny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, I'm going to take it easy on my man today. So he's good. He's good. Right, so I wasn't going to do it. You made me do it. Right that would have so. been fitting, though. I just said, you know, <laughs> I should have done it. Nah, you good. You good. So, all right. So we are, we, we're going to talk about this in our current event. We, and like I said, it's fitting for working out and dieting. So apparently there's a man in uh, Massachusetts by the name of Eric Stagno who was recently arrested we're trying to do a little yoga in his gym, and it's fine doing yoga in the gym. We all, you know, we've done yoga, we've seen yoga. Except it's this little, motherfucker. It's a little awkward when a guy's doing it, though. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's a little awkward when a guy's doing it. It's definitely, definitely awkward. And he's really when flexible. he's naked. Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, 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 this dude was arrested uh, for a, indecent exposure for apparently doing naked yoga at his Planet Fitness uh, gym. In Massachusetts, okay, and be a planet fitness. the people who saw it, they said they were disgusted. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Sammy, you can go ahead and put yeah. that picture yeah. up. Yeah, I'd be a little. Uh, I don't know thing. if our producer is. Uh, it looks like his seat, his chair is missing. <laughs> so I don't know if we have a picture of this guy that we wanted we'll to put, put up, later. but uh, I guess we'll put it up. Looks you know, like a two at the end of the show. People are like, "Who the hell is this guy?" <laughs> this picture up. So Weirdo. the guy <laughs> looks weird. He looks like he has a beard. He looks like a rapist, basically. <laughs> and uh, he was trying to do. He was. I guess he wasn't trying to do. He was doing naked yoga in his gym, and people were disgusted Man. from what they saw. But the thing I can say about this, at least the dude used a mat. <laughs> he didn't do it raw on the floor. Yeah, he, he used, used perfection. a mat. So <laughs> how do you guys feel about that? How do you feel about naked yoga? Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't do it in the to gym. Each, to <laughs> each their own. Bob the wants own. to do it with sandals, though, at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Socks and sandals. Socks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, Things are a little crazy. Animal. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Shane, you're a big exercise guy. You're, you're a personal trainer. I mean, yeah. at least the guy's working out, right? You yeah. got to be proud yeah. of that, you gotta right? got to work on that flexibility. got to work on that flexibility. Shane's like, I do that at home all the time, guys. What are you talking about? That wasn't me. Well, I mean, you know, when I'm exercising, sometimes clothes can restrain me. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. You got your underwear pitching your balls when you try to do the <laughs> downward doggy and all that stuff. Just take the shit off. So this guy might be on to something new. Why you know? Probably shit, already do it in jail. thing is, he waited for the cops to get there. Like, he should have just, okay, I'm done with this sketch right here. I'm, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's calling the cops right now? Okay, let me Gotta put go. my clothes on get them out of here, you know? <laughs> Gotta go. He waited, though. He's like, yeah, cuff me naked, sir. <laughs> right, right. I like this shit. That's right. Still been in this yeah. position. As they're walking the county naked. Uh, I know. <laughs> No. <laughs> so when he went to jail, I'm sure uh, Tyrone was like, hey, you know that do downward doggy position, dog? You can do that shit right here. Yeah, you can do that shit right here. All right, so crazy world we live in, you know, people doing naked yeah. yoga and all kinds of shit. And, you know, I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to show the picture, but trust me, the dude, is a little, he's a weirdo. No, weirdo. Um, weirdo. He, Just he, Google it. Yeah, exactly. Guy in Massachusetts, naked, naked yoga. That's all you have to put. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So uh, moving on to the meat and potatoes of our show. Meat and potatoes. You got something, Sean? You going to let me slide today? I'm going to let him slide. Go you know, let me slide. All right. Fucked up my rhyme. Gonna, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> fucked up my rhyme. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I ain't going to sleep tonight. <laughs> We're going to work on it for next week's show. I promise you. So fuck! <laughs> <laughs> there are many health benefits. We're talking about, as I mentioned, we're talking about the importance of fitness and dieting in your 30s and 40s and, and beyond. So there are many health benefits associated with fitness. Just to name a few, uh, working out and eating right, you have a, you're have you going to have a decreased risk of type 2 diabetes, a decreased risk of hypertension or high blood pressure, high cholesterol. You're going to have improved mental health, better sleep quality, stress relief, increased bone density, decreased risk of early death. All these are the benefits of just doing small minor changes in your life of working out and we're going to find out some of these things we're here with as i mentioned mr shane hubbard who's going to explain to uh to us some of these things and how can we can how we can avoid some of these health issues and increase the quality of our lives so 
my first question to you, Mr. Shane, and you guys can ask any questions that you want here at any time. A lot of guys think that they can work out but eat anything they want. They, I call it the working out versus the eating in and out theory. <laughs> you know, a lot of guys think that's okay. So can you explain to our audience why that is not okay uh, to work out and do all this, you know, working out at the gym, but then going to eat in, at in and out or Popeye's chicken or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> the biggest issue is that you, you can't burn enough calories with exercise alone in order to make up for all the calories you eat especially when you're eating high calorie foods like fast food or in and out. Right. So the body is designed that you can't over exercise to, to, to burn those calories. So you have to create a caloric deficit with your nutrition. Mm -hmm. And so the best way to do that obviously is fruits and vegetables. I mean, we live in the information age and so it's, it's not really like people don't know what to do. It's just getting them to do it. Right. You know, that's the yeah. hardest part. Right. And that's, wh that's really where the secret lies. And right. that's where, you know, good coaches separate themselves from not so good coaches. So yeah. a lot of people say that <clears throat> when I, when I go to the gym, I feel great. And, and when I'm there, it's not really hard. The hard part is just getting up and yeah, going to the gym, right. actually getting your butt out of the house yeah. right. and breaking the monotony of watching TV or texting or whatever you do uh, that usually keeps you from getting out of the house and going to the gym. Once you just get up and once you're on your way there and you get there, right. you're straight. It's a completely different thing. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. now to get the most health benefits, if you had to choose one or the other, which would you choose? Because both of these are important, health and nutrition. To get the most health benefits, if you had to just choose one, okay, working out or just eating right, which would you choose? Which is the most important? That's, I know that's a tough question. That's tough you. because exercise is fun and nutrition is pretty boring. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it's, it's one of the reasons why it's, it's one of my passions is because I really wanted to kind of crack the code on how to make that easier for people. Yeah. Um, if I had to go from a pure health standpoint, nutrition all the way, yeah. um, you know, I kind of already mentioned how you can't really out exercise a bad diet right. and you're not going to live longer with just exercise alone. So you really have to make nutrition a priority if you, yeah. you want to live longer. And, and don't get me wrong, exercise is definitely a part of that. But if you put, you know, someone on an island, you say you can only do one of those two, I would yeah. pick nutrition. Almost definitely. Yeah. 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 Catch your Interesting. own fishing. <laughs> Interesting. I feel you can control a lot more um, of your health markers like cholesterol and type 2 diabetes with nutrition That's alone. That's um, exercise definitely helps with that. But when you compare the two and which one's more effective, nutrition wins every single time. That's why you have a lot of people who, uh, you know, you see them, they work out, they're, you know, playing basketball, they're very active, but they got guts and, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, double chins and, you know, and, and <laughs> fat all over the place because they're still going out and eating the wrong things yeah, right after. after that workout or before that workout. Do you mind if I tell a story about that? Please oh, do. Okay. Please. So there's a, there was a guy that I used to go to the gym with. Uh, I didn't really go to the gym with him, but I, I knew him. We kind of became friends at the gym. And, uh, you know, I ended up leaving. I moved on, moved on and uh, didn't work out at the gym anymore. And then I came back to visit my parents. And I saw him at the gym, and he didn't change at all. It had been about two years. Mm -hmm. And I, I went up to him, and I forgot what his name was. But I said, hey, man, you know, what are you doing these days? He's like, I'm just still doing my, you know, elliptical every, you know, hmm. I think he said it every four, four or five days a week. Right. Um, I've been doing it. I've been doing an hour. I've been increasing it every now and then. Right. And I said, okay, cool, man. You know, are elliptical you... Elliptical is just a, a same yeah, so, routine? It's just same yeah, thing. so he just, his normal routine would be he would go on the elliptical machine and just be there for about an hour and a half. Yeah. So um, I said, okay, man, is that, is, you know, how's that going for you so far? He's like, yeah, I really haven't lost some weight. So we got into a conversation, and uh, after a while, he kind of changed his nutrition a little bit, and uh, yeah. I ended up seeing him about a year later, and he, he lost about 20, 30 pounds. Uh -huh. so, so, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, you have to realize that exercise, as much as it worked for you in the beginning, because a lot right. of people get started with exercise. Right. And that's what gets them in the door, and then they stop losing weight, and they get frustrated. Yeah. And it's always nutrition. <laughs> Always nutrition. Yeah. So, uh, is, there, is there a cheat? Is there a cheat week? Cheat day? Cheat weekend? Yeah, that you know, that's kind of one of those things that you use to help keep you sane. Right. You know, when you're trying to, well, one of the things that I try to teach my clients is that uh, that cheat days end up kind of hurting you in the long run because right. then you give yourself kind of license to do whatever it is you want to do, and that can eventually get out of hand. So, what I try to do is help them realize that they can have little cheats here and there. So they don't have a huge one that goes out of hand. And that's usually what you end up seeing. So, yeah, cheat days are, are great for someone who's getting started. But eventually, you want to try to wean yourself off of, like, this giant day of, like, you know, 8,000 calories or whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> cheating uh, six and a half days a week doesn't work? No, not, not <laughs> typically. Okay. If, you can, if you ever figure out how that works, please tell me. Please tell me. I'd love to know that. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what most of us here are um, The burger see, diet. What Delano is not going to tell you is that he eats like a fat man. He eats all <laughs> kinds of crazy <laughs> <laughs> meals and <laughs> eats like forever. Okay. Then he goes, then he goes to the putting, gym practice. <laughs> since we're putting business out there, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I eat like, a, I, you know, I, I eat 
certain foods. Like okay, a I'm a man of a certain age. I eat certain <laughs> foods, but I only eat that once a day. This guy eats like a fat man three times. <laughs> so that's why he's three times bigger yeah, than me. So, all right. Anyway, <laughs> so they say 30 minutes a day is good exercise, but realistically, how much exercise yes. does one need to do a week? And what kind of exercise is best? Rigorous exercise where you just you know, oh, hour no. you know hour or two hours of just just like me, I play basketball uh, twice a week yeah. for a couple of hours a day. I'm just out there just back and forth, rigorous, okay? And then I may not exercise for the rest of the week. And then you have some people who walk every day, 30 right. minutes a day. Then you have that guy who jogs three times a week. Which would you say is the best type of workout? So um, the, the first question, 30 minutes a day, that's a good benchmark. Like for someone mm -hmm. who's just starting off, like maybe you haven't worked out and, or exercised in a long time, 30 minutes is perfect. Um, where most people actually get in trouble is going too long. Like you, like people in the gym, I'll see like from the start of my shift to maybe like halfway through it, at least my first shift, and they're still in the gym. So that's like an hour and a half, wow. Wow. and that's too long. And right. the idea is, is they're trying to burn more and more calories. Um, so somewhere in the middle, usually the, the research shows that anywhere between 30 to an hour is perfect. Okay. Um, 45 minutes should be kind of your time to start, yeah. start starting stretching or whatever yeah. you're gonna do. Um, and then in terms of the type of you exercise. You said that includes stretching? As the well, no. Minutes? So like if you're oh, doing vigorous okay. exercise, no yeah. more than 45 minutes. Okay. And what, they, okay. what research has shown is essentially that after that 45-minute mark, you're no longer performing uh, at your best. Right. And so the risk of injury goes up. Oh, and so you okay. don't want to do – you obviously don't want to do that because your whole uh, – goal is to be more, yeah, consistent, to be more consistent right, right. to be more consistent to, to go to the gym more frequently or at least exercise more frequently right um so in terms of vigor <laughs> vigorous exercise your main goal hey man watch that word man watch that word what'd you say vigor big oh, okay never mind <laughs> <laughs> there's certain, like that. There's certain like, catch words oh right. oh snap <laughs> you can't <laughs> say vinegar <laughs> vinegar is not a word you want to say on this show <laughs> or naggers or naggers 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 <laughs> Now we got a new one, uh, vigorous, what is it? Vigorous, yeah, vigorous, okay. Yeah, yeah, you want to be no. very careful when you Stren say this. Is strenuous okay? <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm a, I'm a dumbass. I'm being a dumbass. Traumatized, traumatized. Right. Intense yeah. exercise <laughs> should, uh, <laughs> <laughs> intense exercise should uh, probably, you want to modulate things. So if you go every single day as hard as you can, you're not going to last more than two weeks. I mean, wow. Probably not even a week. So the best thing to do is to mix it up. Yeah. I would say no more than four hours a week of vigorous exercise. Okay. exercise. So that would be your goal. And then if you're filling in the blanks the other days of the week, low intensity exercise like walking, uh, a jog is, every, is fine oh, every now and I then. See. So you want to mix things around. Um, if you don't do that, you end up burning out really quickly. And I've see. done that to myself plenty of times. First when I'm you know, trying a new workout program or whatever it might be, yeah. um, it happens. And so when you're trying to lose weight or when you're trying to become healthier, your number one goal is how do I make this sustainable? Because if I can't make it sustainable, then I'm not going to be able to do it long term. And if I can't do it long term, I'm not going to get to my goal. Is it best to work out early in the day? Like I, I usually I find that I have more energy when I wake up. And that's when I like to do my work. I, I, right. I like to. I like usually when I was working out, <laughs> I like going in the afternoon, like five, six o'clock right after work. I right. personally, that's that was the best time for me. Yeah. I'm not a morning person waking up at four in the morning and going to work out and do my thing, then go to work. No, yeah. I right. do it right after. So, right. That's crazy too. Those, the injury thing that you said, it's just like people you, you see on Instagram or something like the guys is like, Ugh, and then their knee just pops. This is like, ah, oh, dang, you know, just why is that <laughs> yeah. necessary to yeah, even right. be doing that kind of weight training? You know what right. I mean? Like doing too much. Just, just, it was, it, yeah, man, I can't get that picture out of my head, but the guy just tried to squat some, man, his leg just went right in half. It's like, you aren't, you're not training for the Olympics or yeah. anything. You're just, you're going to work just probably after it, this. Right. Now you're fucked up. You're yeah. going to work, you're, you're, you're a teacher. You're yeah, you're a <laughs> kindergarten <laughs> teacher. Like, yeah. Why are you squatting that much? You know, that's it's <laughs> unnecessary. Squat the kids, you got to squat the kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. So what's the best time to work out the best time of day? <laughs> Bow leg now. So when they've actually done like real research on this, it's it's really highly dependent on the person's preference. Um, if they Doesn't What they matter. did is they took people and they gave them a questionnaire and they said, hey, when was the when is the best time for you to work out? When do you prefer? And so they had them say one or the other, and then they had them do the opposite. And their consistency oh, wow. went all the way down, you know, so they didn't really want to exercise. So wow. it's it's more about getting it in than about when you do it. So if I you're see. a morning person, do it she then. Said. If you're an yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> if, you're, if you're an <laughs> evening person <laughs> Get it in. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, so if you're an evening person, do it you, then. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's no downside to either side, either one. Okay. Um it's more about getting it in. That's funny. Uh, so uh, you can confirm that too. You can confirm that. So when is the best time to eat my pie pies? <laughs> oh, right before you go to bed. Right before. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would you be a really good dream. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Chicken dreams. Yeah. You know they say that's a good question. A uh, good point you make. Uh, how 
when you how how can I ask this question? Before you go to bed, how many hours prior to going yes, to bed good question. should you eat or not? Um, so that's like, you know, there's not a lot of research on that specific. Uh, they say if you eat on. like an hour before bed, a big meal, it, your well, body metabolizes slower, so you end up increasing your fat, right? Well, that's not true. That part is not true. Oh, so okay. it, it, if you were to eat, like let's say someone just eats breakfast and doesn't eat dinner, right? And then someone eats just dinner and not breakfast, is the if their calories are the same, it doesn't matter. So mm. at that point, it is math related. Um, eating a big meal before bed actually is bad because of how it affects your sleep. Not okay. necessarily how you store fat. Like there used to be a myth that if you eat carbs after like 6 p.m., you're just going to get fat. And if yeah. that was true, then I would probably not be a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a uh, method in the black community. Like if you eat ribs, especially beef oh, ribs, yeah. your ass is going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the itis. Yeah, so. <laughs> Negroitis. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yes. it's not even a method. I think it's true. It's true. <laughs> We should study. That's true. It. Yeah. Dylan yeah. will get that all the time. Uh, yeah, I like to After eat. After he eats, like I a like fat to man. eat. This guy. <laughs> but who's the fat guy? Who's the fat guy? Uh, so um, we're gonna have uh, and we're gonna have you show. We're gonna have you. As, as a matter of fact, our audience is gonna see a great thing today. You're gonna see our personal trainer here, uh, Shane, do some exercises <laughs> with Tech C, and we're gonna see how in shape this guy is today. Yeah, my back's injured. He's gonna bend over. <laughs> he's gonna bend over and fart, and it's over. <laughs> I'll stand to the side so I don't. Right. Uh, have you ever you know, been training someone and they just farted? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm Absolutely. sure that happens all the time, right? That's like, yeah, that's very common. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> and have you ever trained someone and just bad body odor oh, and yeah. hygiene? Oh, yeah, all the time. Bad yeah. deodorant. Oh, yeah. I, I, when I'm at the gym, I, you just people walk by and you're like, man, just there's a shower here. Yeah. <laughs> shower before. I've been asked, why am I standing so far away? Right. Oh, I'm just getting a good view. That's, that's <laughs> all. Just making sure I get all everything. Yeah. You know, you know what I... When <laughs> When I go to the gym and I see, you know, you're working out, you're doing your thing, everybody's all in shape. But when you go into that locker room, you see all these old people just in there. But they do not care. Where the just hell? Swinging, dude. Like what? The <laughs> I know. I'm like, hey man, you, if I was that old, from? I'd probably be doing the same thing. It was just hey like, man, hey, the, whatever. The Dodgers are doing old. pretty good, man. And don't talk to me with your dick out, man. <laughs> yeah. Put that fucking dick away, yeah. and then we'll talk about the Dodgers. I used to work at a country club, and uh, that happened a lot. Yeah. I used to work in the fitness center, yeah. And I just, I just learned, just look straight up, you know, just like go like that. <laughs> um, hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> just hanging. <laughs> just yeah. hanging. These yeah. guys, man. You know, we got LeBron, huh? We got LeBron. Put the dick away, man. like. <laughs> yeah. like, dude. I think these guys, the theory with that is they go to the gym, they feel good about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. They feel, yeah, exactly. They have this false sense of being sexy or whatever. And like, I, I can talk to anybody. I have, the, I have the body and the workout method to do that. You know, even though my gut's hanging over my penis here. My balls uh, are So um, can you tell me a little bit more about your program? <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's the thing. Like, where the hell did they come from? Because I didn't see them out on the fucking right, floor. That, that video but, you sent where the guy's running around jumping in the cars yeah, like, yeah. doing his, <laughs> doing his <laughs> yoga naked. That's what? crazy. What, what video is it? Uh, it's just something that you don't have. It's called Facebook, sir. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it gets you in trouble. Getting to the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Shane, let me ask you, what are some of the superfoods out there that people should know about regarding nutrition? Especially, some of the superfoods. Especially for men, because a lot yeah. of men need that. Yeah. yeah so, um, please tell me Popeyes is on there. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's last on the list. Or so, pos yeah. pozole, so pozole. You, please, pozole is on there. <laughs> how, about, how about carne asada? <laughs> yes, I love carne neck asada. bones, neck burritos, and cheese, and sour I'm from cream. the south. I need <laughs> neck bones, man. Chicken <laughs> wings. And I mean that is the actual that, neck of a cow. Louisiana <laughs> hot sauce. Does it taste good? Yo, bum. Yeah. With a little hot sauce, man. Yeah. Mm. Louisiana neck hot bones. sauce. What part of the cow is carne asada? Because that shit is fire. That's the throwaway shit, man. What yeah, is that's nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Flat like meat. Carne asada? That's the carne asada. Carne asada used to be like the, the shitty to the part of the meat, and it used to be so cheap because nobody had oh, ate it. And then man. when people started eating it, and they started so they eight again, a what part of the cow is the fucking <laughs> carne asada? <laughs> Probably the ass. Is the good? <laughs> if it's ass, it's good ass. Yes. <laughs> yes. You like carne asada? It's tough. I eat those ass tacos. Oh, those ass tacos. Carne asada? They're not doing it right. You got to do like. Mm. Yeah, you gotta go to the Cut it thin. Cut it thin. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, yeah, he's been hanging out it's the wrong chewy. Mexican. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, Vato V, man. Yeah, it's too it's chewy, chewy like that, man. Nah, yeah. that's, the, that's not that part of the cow. That's like cow balls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cow ass. Testiculos. <laughs> <laughs> so we're giving cow our audience anus. the wrong, you know, Shane was supposed to talk about superfoods, and we're talking oh, about yeah. fucked up food. <laughs> so we'll that's that. what not to eat. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, exactly. What uh, What's what are some of the superfoods we should eat? When we're, so when we're, specifically you know. for men, broccoli is probably the best. Oh, wow. I like broccoli. Yeah, I broccoli is good. And the reason why is because it actually helps get rid of extra estrogen. 
So oh, wow. for men, you don't, you obviously don't want extra estrogen. Right. That's not so man boobs like Texas. You got, got man boobs. Yeah, you got, hey, dude, those are I will show my titty before you show yours. You got boobs, dude. Dude, I, this is called, dude, you got callers, callers, callers. You got 32 D. Callers, who's got bigger man boobs? You got 32 D. if you want them to take their shirt off. We got Texie and we got Delano. Callers, call in. If, you want if it's women, they're going to want to take want me to take my shirt off. Yeah, yeah, it's everybody, got, they're not going to want him to take his shirt off. I got muscle on my chest. You got boobs. Call in. What's the number? Vato V, what's the number, man? Hey, all right. One time, One time we had a situation here where we thought the cameras were off and we all took our shirts off. People were like, who's your sponsor, the Michelin man? Texie had his shirt off. We lost ratings. Oh, shit. that day. Oh, damn. Fuck Texie. We just lost a million followers because Texie had his shirt off. Houston, we got a problem. So anyway, anyway, superfoods. Broccoli is probably the best for men just for that specific reason. But, I mean, women too, you can definitely. Who's got the better body shape? Can this guy? <laughs> a, 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 I don't know. He's wearing a Dodgers shirt. A viewer a said, call. "A viewer said Delano eat broccoli. Let's get rid of that estrogen." Oh, <laughs> okay. First of all, let me see that. Let yeah, me see that. Make right sure here, you're not making at, that shit up. Look at that. It's right there. All right. Okay. Oh. Hey, Rizalba, <laughs> Rizalba, 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 call in and let's. And let's he's call in. But he's yeah. not. He's not reading the shit that they're saying about you. Right? Okay. All right. Call so me. I'm sorry, Shane. Shane. <laughs> Superfoods. So uh, another broccoli. great one is tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. Yeah, specifically men. Tomatoes are great for prostate. Okay. So you can avoid prostate cancer if you're eating, you know, tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What if, what if it sparks so. up your acid, like your re acid reflux? Tomatoes is not good for that. Yeah, no, it's not. So yeah, tomatoes are pretty acidic. But if you <laughs> usually if you eat them whole and you don't have it Speaking as like a, a like a uh, tomato sauce, like in like spaghetti or something, it should be okay. Oh, okay. So try that instead, and then if it still doesn't work, you should probably. Does ketchup count? <laughs> <laughs> no, ketchup would be yeah. Ketchup would still be like a tomato sauce. Oh, we're good, That's we're usually good. why you know it gives you acid reflux. There you go. Avocados, right? Those are great. Yeah, right? avocados, avocados are great. Avocados. Healthy fats. Avocados. 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 Avocado yeah. seeds. I love those shits. People eating out the seeds, they like blend them up. The seeds? They blend yeah, them I heard that too. You can blend, grind them. They grind them and blend uh, them up yeah. and then put them like in. It's good for your digestion. Is it? Uh, what's, what's the taste like? They say it has more. Like it's they say it has like more, chia um, seeds, kind of. Like. More than the actual avocado itself. More yeah. of the oxy antioxidants. antioxidants yeah. Yeah. Does it break down enough? Or is it still chunky once once you break it? I've never have you done had it, man. It? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm like, yo, I'm looking at him like he's the nutritionist. <laughs> <laughs> he brought that shit up too. He was like, uh, I avocado came up with my seeds. Facebook. We started. He's oh, not okay. the nutritionist. We started focusing on our yeah. Tex yeah. like, What, bro? All right, Tex C got it down. He can pound beers and knows about avocado <laughs> shit. Sign me up. <laughs> he is not a nutritionist. Uh, so what about uh, what about watermelon? Watermelon is good. That's a superfood. I heard right. Well, I mean, it, it depends. So superfoods are usually categorized by uh, the richness of their antioxidants okay so vi uh, watermelon doesn't really have a whole lot of antioxidants in it if you're looking for things that have high antioxidants you're looking for things like berries that have seeds in them uh, watermelons usually is, is really just it's like i think it's about like 79 percent water yeah uh, so yeah. the vitamins and nutrients in watermelons aren't that high it's not very concentrated interesting hmm. um, it's not a bad food it's definitely one of the foods like if you eat a lot of it it helps cut back on the amount of calories because it fills you up yeah but it, it's not that high in calories so yeah. seeds too they have to have seeds right or else there's like a, a gmo pretty much right i've heard that watermelons should have seeds like a real fruit, like every fruit should have a seed in it. Like right. seedless watermelon. Yeah, seedless watermelon is, is yeah. definitely genetic. There's no, no genetic. Yeah, man. No not, that I, not that I'm aware. Okay. How do you no. how do you plant a seedless watermelon with no exactly. seeds? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. It's man made. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, so besides obvious junk foods, of course, cakes, things that seed eats. Uh, <laughs> what are some of the we'll foods people should stay lunch. away from? <laughs> What are some of the foods people should stay away from? Um, everything. So something <laughs> know, <right>? that, <laughs> everything but the superfoods. Right. Yeah. Um, so like, like food. I, I guess what I'm trying to say. What are some of the myths about? What are some of the foods out there that people think are good? Like I thought watermelon was actually good for you. You're saying it's okay. Yeah. What's the food out there with, that would probably be the biggest myth type food that <clears throat> that's actually bad for you? So um, veg <clears throat> vegetable oils would be one of the one of the foods. It's not really a, a true food. It's an oil, obviously, but yeah. people cook with it. And the reason why you want to eliminate uh, vegetable oil is because, one, it's very rancid. So let's pretend that I threw a brick in the ocean and it rusts. Yeah. So if you take a lot of vegetable oils and that's what it's doing to your insides. Right. So you can age 10 to 15 years more than you would normally, wow. both for inside and outside, by simply over consuming vegetable oils. Wow. So what wow. is a vegetable oil? It's basically, uh, one of them is canola oil, 
sunflower oil, um, your typical vegetable oil, I forget the name of the brand, but it's a very popular brand. And most people are cooking with these oils because one, they're cheap, and two, about 15 to 20 years ago, we were all told to do that because yeah. it had less saturated fat. Right. Turns out that when the science really gets into it and you, and you look at what the studies prove, vegetable oils are actually causing more harm than the saturated fats are. Yeah, so sure. what I would recommend is replacing <laughs> that as olive oil or coconut oil. And you can, oh, if you I don't like coconuts, oil. you can buy it uh, expeller press, which means you just get the oil, you don't get the flavor. I heard coconut oil, I actually read somewhere that it's actually not good for you. Um, yeah, so there's been back and forth research. What they're trying to do is get people to buy it and then stay away from it and then buy it <laughs> and stay away from it. We did the same thing with eggs. Yeah. Um, that's been going on forever. And, you know, finally, I think people are starting to realize that we're we're more educated as a culture and as right. a society. So right. you can't get away with that anymore. So eggs, eggs are bad for you? No, eggs are fine. Eggs are fine. Yeah. Okay. There was a vote, actually, about um, having animals that were ca were caged, yeah. you know, versus non-caged animals. And, uh, yeah, you guys go out there and vote, man. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> go out and vote for roaming animals. Is, you know, the food you eat is what, you know, they're, cra they're caged up and stuff. You want to eat good eggs, not... So caged if they're up caged eggs. up, they're not good, and they're not caged well, up, they're better eggs? I would leave that to cage him more, free. but cage-free cage is what free. they're voting for, so the animals can roam and, uh, you know, deliver better food, you know, and, and it's not so. Because they're, they're happier? happier? I, I, I believe they're so, happy. yeah. Happier happy food, eggs. you know, we are what we eat. No, so if we eat true. a happy it's chicken, true. we might end up being, you know, happy papas, happy people. You hey, know? Does, does, a hap, does, a happy, does a happy meal count as well? Give them Shit. Give them beer and make them happy. And then you chop them up and then we'll fucking cut that's how they were good to go. <laughs> yeah, you've been yeah, keep happy. the carne asada no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> carne asada little, has to say. You've been a little, you know, uh, mean spirit today. You had a you ate an unhappy carne asada? <laughs> an unhappy cow today? <laughs> I had a sandwich, sir. Today. Unhappy yeah, sandwich. Unhappy turkey. It was a cage sandwich. Hug, <laughs> hug, it, hug it out, man. Hug it out. Oh, man. So that's, yeah, that's interesting. I, I eat a lot of egg whites, you know, because I'm a man. I'm, I, I don't I'm judge, man. okay? This guy's I'm, lying through I'm not teeth. racist. Every time he sit down and eat, this guy eats the worst thing ever. Bacon. Oh, my God. Every, dude, what yeah. is up? <laughs> Gravy. Because he's lying. On, he's lying. I don't eat egg whites. Put it out you, there. Are you with me every morning when Put I eat them? Tell him. He's like, <laughs> put them on blast. He's like, he's with me 24 hours a day. medium and don't mess up the medium. What is wrong with this <laughs> okay, who started all the insults? He, he came in on me. We yeah. were having a nice show, and then all of a sudden, Hug out of the blue, this Hug guy eats out. like a fat man. <laughs> we were having a good show. Are you with me every day when I eat? Hug Are you out. with me every? I see you a couple of days every a week. Every Wednesday, sir. Okay. So <laughs> every Wednesday, Wednesday I eat PM. bacon and all this shit. Occasionally, only, I eat bacon. You only eat bad on Wednesdays, then? So I eat bacon every time we're together. Every Wednesday, I that's, eat bacon. That, hey, Tom, that's your cheat. I've eaten bacon once in every time we that's eat cheat, breakfast. That's your cheat day. This guy orders extra bacon. Oh yeah, his meal with bacon. Put side of bacon, please. Every time, every time. Every time we eat breakfast. And how many times have we eaten breakfast? Since I've been maybe five know. or six times. I mean, okay. How long have I known right. you? When I go out to eat at Denny's or whatever, you know, it's I might butter, order something. Huh? Extra. But when I'm at home, <laughs> most butter. of my time, eighty-nine percent when I cook, I cook my own breakfast. It's usually egg whites, oatmeal. Okay. Uh, might have a, a side of fruit and some toast or something like that. That's nice. it. Okay. Right. Should, Thank uh, you. Which, yes. which is why I'm probably next to LaShawn to Dunn, the most in shape guy at this table. You, you know? should. Uh, and it's, it's probably LaShawn, myself, Vato V. Oh, no, I'm sorry. At this table, Shane. LaShawn, <laughs> myself, Vato V. Sammy, <laughs> Sheena, <laughs> Rebecca. With the list goes on. Then Tech C somewhere in the back somewhere. Right? <laughs> anyway, that shit, okay. That shit about uh, vegetable oil, though. I'm really yeah. gonna take that into consideration because yeah. yeah. I've been cooking with that. And once you said, it, I was like, oh, what? Well, we usually oh, no, use olive oil, oil at home, but olive oil, oil is is, <clears> is <throat> much better. Yeah. yeah. So you gotta buy it in quantity too because that shit's more expensive. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I It'll mean, it, it, it's worth it. Yeah. It was, you know, especially without in in the Mexican culture, we cook a lot of fat, like you know, lard and obviously, um, you know, vegetables chicharrones. and chicharrones. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. Chicharrones. Yeah we, yeah, we got all that stuff, yeah. you know. So. You know, we got to start. We, our, yeah, our community has to start paying attention to us. It's, it's good to have once mm -hmm. in a while, but not all the time. You know, we, yeah, we, sure. we definitely got to get a lot of a lot of uh, the culture. You know, it's, it's overweight. Yeah, you know, we got to start paying attention to all that stuff. Especially, you really want to talk to the to the Hispanic folks out there and the Black America, folks. America, America, America period. period. Just just everybody, said, yeah, America's be careful what you now. eat because man, what we're eating nowadays is is, is horrible. You yeah, know what I mean, so we just got to be careful, with, with especially our children. Is. Be careful what yeah. you feed your kids. You know, hey, you can say you can say on a national radio like which this is, yeah. and this is false, by the way. I don't even. I'm just saying you can say McDonald's is the worst food ever that you can eat. Their line is not going to crack. They're still going to no. have still, they're still no. gonna millions have of people that yeah, they yeah. serve. Excuse me. They yeah. did a whole um, movie about yeah, yeah, it's, it's McDonald's is because yeah, kids, it's because cracked, the kids are always like, let's go to McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's an easy yeah. meal because you know, obviously, when you get home from work. 
you're tired as hell you know the wife's tired the girlfriend's tired baby mama's tired wherever is tired mm-hmm. you just want to get a, a quick fix so that's why yeah. we go to you know the, all these fast food restaurants to get to get something what's your favorite you know fast what? food place guys favorite fast food place popeyes that's yours. Popeyes. Yeah, fat burger wing yeah. burger i like pizza wing stop wing stop that's true pizza's good i mean i usually pizza. Do nothing pizza. mexican no oh, mexican food well, you know <laughs> yeah tacos but, or pacos, tacos or pacos. <laughs> we thank you we thank you like, time, man. Man. like what he like hey, man, man. Can you like some pizza <laughs> right? or something? i'm talking about fast food you know i we mexican food every day all day that's for breakfast you know tacos or pacos <laughs> huevos rancheros and tacos and right that's we're good for go yeah. what about you shane what's your favorite fast food come on I'm give us one man in and out okay that's where i'm going all right everybody you know has some type of weakness you know yeah okay is there for those people who are stuck in the office okay who are listening and you know you have people who work eight to fives and after they get off work they're just too tired to go to the gym what are some of the exercises people can do while on the job while at the desk while at work um so some of the easiest ones to do that you could probably get away with just at your desk is squats um if you can if you can what i i actually had a client that that asked me that she's like can i do you know kind of workout at home or can i do a workout at the office i said yeah do 20 squats every uh, hour and mm-hmm. she did that, and you know, it's it's <clears throat> on the side. It's kind of yeah. on the side work. I mean, we were working, doing some stuff in the gym. But the best thing to realize is that you have to start somewhere. Right. So don't get discouraged by thinking I gotta get a gym membership. I gotta you know mm-hmm. get the right clothes. I gotta do all this thing. Just do something. Right. And if that's walking around your block, you know, for ten minutes, then that's better right. than you know sitting on your couch. Yeah. Squats. Um, squats can actually get you in trouble for sexual harassment at work. You know, like <laughs> I know. A nice looking lady yeah. doing squats. I mean, that can yeah. Yeah, yeah, divert some that attention. That looks nice. But Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> people, people actually. I mean, somebody's brought this up, and I don't know if you you fellas have heard of it, but there's face yoga now. Face yoga. Face yoga. I what kid you that? not. Like this, like, doing these up uh, these awkward <laughs> stretches with your face, and somebody's making All money. Actors do yep. that. Yeah. I think I think it's a real thing, but I mean, there's people making Stretch money on it. So if I see somebody, doing, it, if I yoga. see somebody doing face yoga, I'm thinking they're having a yeah, seizure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what it looks <laughs> like. <laughs> I saw it on some magician show on Netflix, and the the, the lady was, you know, <laughs> doing her face, contorting her face all awkwardly, and uh, it looked crazy. But she had clients, so. Wow. Hey, you know, whatever it, pays the bills. Whatever pays the bills. You're doing a lunch, huh? You're making that face. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, take a shit. <laughs> 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 I had to take a masa. <laughs> may, may your masa. Squeeze one out. <laughs> face. Yeah, V, you do like face yoga like three, three days, three yeah. times a day, don't you? In the, ba- <laughs> in the, in the bathroom. <laughs> That's right. That's when I practice the most. You're like, oh, yeah. He does, he does anus squeezes. <laughs> that's, guy. that's the exercise. That's the exercise you can do at Plenty, work. Plenty now, you might ass. get fired. Your boss might be like, man, this motherfucker's crazy. I'm fired. <laughs> the face you're making, man, we saw you on camera, sir. Uh, you're fired. Yeah. Don't was, come back was, to this place face ever again. Yeah. Damn it, face you ever. <laughs> okay, here's the question we all want to know and our listeners want to know because, you know, this is a lot know. of what our show is about. Uh-oh. Is sex actually considered a form of exercise let's say you're supposed to work out three times a week let's say i work out twice a week and you know and both of those times are sex two minutes a day ain't gonna cut it son <laughs> <laughs> damn it minute man so, so yeah so damn. yeah sex is a form of exercise just don't do it at the gym uh, <laughs> do it at home then uh, uh, but yeah there was actually they did some studies on like how many calories you burn yeah. it's anywhere anywhere in the neighborhood of about 300 to 500 calories Shit, wow. obviously depending on what you're doing oh, that's wow. that's naked that's yoga. can you do naked yoga is, is that gonna <laughs> make you yeah, it's not, same time you, you, what if, what if you what can if, figure out how to get that work? What if she's then, on yeah. top and you're not doing nothing? <laughs> <laughs> well, then she's burning three to four hundred calories, and you're just you know, <laughs> you're just there. Yeah, you're just hanging out. He's asking that for a specific reason. <laughs> you know, t- <laughs> Texas. <is> like, <laughs> Uh, can you pass me the beer, honey? <laughs> <laughs> he makes her get him the beer, and she's fucking him. Man. That's, cra- that's crazy. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, and, and here, if you had to choose one exercise to do. And only one type of food to eat in order to live as long as possible. Only Shit. one exercise, type of exercise, and one type of food. If you had to choose, what would that exercise be and what would that food be? Oh, man. That's a hard question. That's, um, hard. That's hard for anybody, man. Yeah. I'm going to say two exercises, but pick one. So pull-ups for the upper body is definitely the best. You can get, you can get, you could just do that the rest of your life and be in pretty good shape. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the one I'm going to pick is deadlifts. Because nothing feels better than picking some heavy shit off the ground. Right. Yeah, yeah. and that that that's feels man, pretty. Yeah, some, bad back. That feels pretty manly. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. So <laughs> fuck so that. yeah, that's the one I would pick. And then food. Uh, I got kind of a story behind this. So potatoes. 
Uh, really? Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes. Oh, he yeah. loves potatoes. Yeah. He's Mr. Potato Head right here. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> I thought we had a truce today. <laughs> thought we had a truce. <laughs> thought we had a truce. All right, it's on and cracking now. Okay. We got like All 10 right. more minutes. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm black as a microphone. Shadow, I mean, what the fuck? So, uh, <laughs> if you so notice, if you notice it's, getting, it's been getting darker outside. It's not the season. It's because Sean's been going out earlier, y'all. That's what it is. But anyway, go ahead. That was off the top of my potato head. So. Nice. Yeah. Hey. Get some new Let's jokes, sir. Yeah. There's actually a. I haven't uh, told that one. Yet. Story, man. Oh, yeah, so it's just a quick story. So, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> so there was a guy who was trying to lose weight, and uh, his doctor said, uh, "If just eat potatoes for like six months." I uh, heard that. I heard that. Yeah, and so the the reason behind it is you can get all your nutrients, not all of them, but you can get life sustaining nutrients from potatoes alone. Damn. So mm-hmm. he did it, and he I think he lost like 120 pounds. Holy like it can't be fried potato like <laughs> no, French no. So this, yeah, so there's like some that, right? there's, a, there's some caveats. <laughs> you can't just you know eat potato chips or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, he would Damn fry it. them in his pan, <laughs> and uh, or he would bake them in the oven, and yeah, yeah he just he he ate that. And uh, a lot of uh, uh, northern uh, northern European cultures. Uh, Irish, right? Eat, they eat a lot yeah, of potatoes, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah, and no so sour they, cream and chives and all that. You know? and yeah, they usually <laughs> don't have that. Uh, <laughs> butter, but, uh, butter. but yeah, so he survived off of that, and, and he lost a ton really? of weight. Yeah, it, so it, he would cook it in the fried. Did, did he didn't eat anything else with it? No type of meat or anything? Uh, according Carne to asada, according to the the story, no, no, he didn't eat anything else with it. Yeah, and, they need uh, to do that for that dude on the show that's like six hundred pounds, and he just like just gets up and he can't move. Like he's stuck in a room. Yeah, like they can't get him out or anything like that. Just give him potatoes. That's yeah. that's, 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 <laughs> that could be a start, you know. Yeah, he can't stop, get up, he know. can't get up and go do something else. You mm-hmm. got yeah, eat something. Eat potatoes, yeah. man. Yeah. You know? Is it true that if you're six hundred, if you're three hundred pounds or whatnot, and you're walking around, they, are these people usually stronger because they have to carry so much weight? Where if they lost that weight, they would actually still have that strength. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it depends on how long you're you're carrying that much weight around. Wow. Um, but you actually increase your bone density because your your bone responds to how much weight you're carrying around. Right. Um, that's one of the reasons why strength training and uh, for for older people, so like if you're 50, 60, 70, mm-hmm. strength training is the best thing you can do. Right. Because it increases. Uh, they've actually linked grip strength to all co- all cause mortality. So people that had better grip strength ended up living longer than those that didn't. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. So wow. that was a that was a cool study. But um, for women especially too, if you strength train, you you train your bone to um, to get thicker, yeah, and so you re- you reduce the risk of osteoporosis. Thick bone, I like thick bone bitches. I like they look good. Man. They look good. I mean, you can't sell like that. She got some. She has bo- good bone density. <laughs> hey, if you say that at work, gentlemen, you won't get in trouble. Like, damn, she got ass. You getting fired? Damn, she got a. You getting fired? I like her bone density. <laughs> <laughs> That's very scientific. You're like, Keep your job. Yeah, <laughs> you're good. You're good. And hey, last, he, yeah, go ahead. No, here's here's a question. Um, what what is like a good workout regimen like to you know like cardio and you know so so people out there for cardio what can they do for like the week? What is the best? Really good question. Yeah. So what I would do is I do three days a week of strength training. So t- some type of lifting weights, okay. whether that's, you know, whatever form of that is for you. Pull if you're ups. new, Yeah, pull-ups. I mean, you can <coughs> grab some dumbbells, press them overhead, do some squats. That's a great way of doing it. And then cardio you want to put in between the days that you're doing the, the okay. resistance training. Okay. So that's how you would want. You never want to do just one thing. Uh, okay. You want to kind of mix it up, and that's again to 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 find some more sustainability. And you can't do it all in one day either, right? No, you can't that's do cardio and, and weights. In the same well, you day, could, right? but the the benefit is that when you work out with weights, you get that effect of burning calories afterwards as well. Okay. Um, cardio after weights is fine. I mean, if that's what works for you. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you want to do what works for you and what you can sustain. Yeah. Um, okay. If that means cardio after your your, your weight training, that's fine. If you okay. can't do it the next day, yeah. Do, so like cool. running and running, and then you do. Uh, one day running and then the next day you do lifting and yeah the, okay. and it's a good mix and Perfect. it helps give your body a break because okay. if you lift too many days in a row you're going to break down right yeah. all right so uh, as i promised we are going we're going to have shane choose one of the gentlemen from the panel here <laughs> and it's going to be something easy it's not going to be something that's going to hurt your back or anything this because this has to be for our viewers as well we don't want anybody one hurting themselves and suing us out there so Shane, if you can choose one of us, and it can't be me because I'm the host, I have to talk. It can be him. him. It can be him. Uh, Can you pick one of us and show us the proper way, the proper way (laughs) to do a deadlift? (laughs) So unprofessional. (laughs) Proper way to do a deadlift. 
please. Sure. Yeah. Yes. How about uh, da, 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 how about no, Yes. No, tick. Go no, ahead. No, 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 Proper no. way to do a deadlift. No, my back <laughs> hurts. It's not gonna hurt your back. My back hurts. See, people, you see all that back shit hurts. he talks. Oh. He can't even do a proper deadlift weight. <laughs> all right. I so, can't. how about you, Vato V? I don't care. Whatever. There you go. That's <laughs> right. Vato V. Let's go with Vato right. V. Delano, Delano played you, Vato V. That's how good. What are we doing? I can't do. I have to talk about it. I can do a deadlift. Delano wants to do a cock push up. Can you do a cock push up? I do those all the time when I pull it out, ladies. All right. So. Okay, so he has Vato V facing the wall. You have this to is face starting off kind of suspect, man. Vato V turning around, <laughs> bending over. I don't yeah. know about this. About and we, got a, we got about 30, 30 more seconds, gentlemen. Right, I'm so sorry. Okay. I want you to bend your hips, pushing your butt back. Bend your hips, pushing your butt back, V. You know how to do that. Stick it out. out. Stick it out. Right. Know, Stick right. it out. Back behind you while keeping your legs straight. Okay. Back behind you. Keep yeah, those legs okay. straight. Now keep your arms close. Did Vato V get tased? Yeah. So what you'll notice is he's tased for the next week. Okay, let him finish, guys. I'm sorry. He's keeping his back straight, which is very important. Keeping his back straight. Your back. Very important. Important. He's also slightly bending his knees, but he's <coughs> mostly moving from the hip. Got to bend those knees, move from the hip. So that's this is the right position. Now, if he was to go lower, if he was to go lower, he's getting his hips back even more. He's and getting his hips makes back the more. Deadlift, a deadlift as opposed to a squat where that's you bend more with the knees. That's what gives you the power, folks. That's what gives you the power. Yeah. 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 You got to go all the way down to get the weight, though, right? There so you go. Like you got to grab the weight. And next week, uh, Vato V oh, gets yeah, tased. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <the brain. laughs> all right, Vato V, good job, sir. Good job, Vato V. Good, good, good job, buddy. That's for the fans, baby. For my man right there. Good job, buddy. And we want to go ahead and thank our special guest, very special guest, Mr. Shane Hubbard, folks. Yes, thank you very much for having us. Shane awesome. Hubbard. Shane, yes. thank you. Shane welcome, Hubbard, welcome, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Now, thank you before much. we leave, we do this thing for all of our Hispanic uh, followers out there and listeners. We do this thing called Mexican Word of the Day. What is the Mexican Word of the, of the Day, Vato? This is the workout, baby. Chew. 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 How is chew the Mexican Word of the Day? I ran from the cops, and I lost my chew. <laughs> <laughs> for all of our fellow Hispanics uh, out there. We love you guys. That's our show. We want to thank our sponsor, LA Aerial Image. Catch us on LA Talk Radio every IG. Wednesday at 6 p.m., www.thementalityshow.com is our website. All of our past episodes on YouTube. Check us out. Check our videos out. Facebook Live. Share our show with your friends, folks. All you mentalities out there, we love you. We'll see you back next week. What's up, Episode Shane? 30. And Shane, we yes. Oh, Shane, go ahead and please give him, give yes, him your IG. website, please. Oh, so my website is persistentnutrition.com. You can go there and check out everything. And then on Instagram, it's Shane Hubbard Fit, at Shane Hubbard Fit. Ladies, he has a shirt off on Instagram. There's a lot of girls that are talking about you. So oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> go. <clears throat> go ahead, Shane. All right. Take <laughs> so, taken, just so you guys know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They'll still watch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, catch us next week. That's our show, episode 30 next week. Love you guys. Vamanos. Yes. Everybody in there. You're listening to The Mentality Show, only on L.A. Talk Radio.